All right, uh, this is a very interesting case. Uh, the case was for a major surgery, bilateral total knee replacement. All right, now uh, look at here. This is the power six valve. All right, now this patient who is around 70 years uh, was advised for a revascularization because of her previous two stents which was working fine there was some concern in recent angiography okay there was no uh, major chest pain or anything now cardiologist said that it is uh, not advisable to go for bilateral TKI with this condition okay his eco report was reasonably okay now who is going to do this case since the cardiologist has told that this is patient's needs revascularization all right next uh, now this patient comes to an anesthesiologist who knows little bit about echocardiography and he had his own assessment now first of all if you see this one this is a picture of uh, tissue doppler tdi or tissue doppler velocity of mitral valve annulus okay it is uh, there are e wave and a wave you uh, know it is touching almost beyond 10 all right and this is the uh, and this is the the pulse wave doppler of mitral valve blood flow this is the e wave and a wave all right so roughly you just uh, remember this this is something around 70 it, there is some analyzing and uh, the tip is coming here so it is around 70 it's not reaching 80 so tdi was around 10 and and the pulse wave velocity uh, is around 80 or 75 let's say now this is his the right ventricular function they call it tapsy okay this is the left side this is the right side this is the tricuspid valve if you can here it is very clear so the value is 3.56 3.56 all right now apart from this what he has done is he has done some lvot estimation of flow so lvot vti is 70 uh, sorry 25.1 this is used for calculating exactly the what is the amount of cardiac output with the help of this you take the this is aortic valve and this is the aortic valve diameter in system the both the valves are opening if you can see this that the valve opening and closing the might uh, the aortic valve so this is another better picture okay here aortic valve opening closing all right so what we have done here is the measurement of that it's around two centimeter 1.71 so with this this anesthesiologist said that this case is doable revascularization of heart nobody can predict say it be 90 percent block or 40 percent block nobody can predict that you are going to have mi in next 24 hours all right 90 percent block may be very safe with have a organized atheromatous plate rather than a 40 percent block which is fresh which is raw one which is more vulnerable for rupture so basically nobody can tell who is going to have mi all right so based on this information this anesthesiologist went ahead with the case all right what could have happened apart from this what he did a little bit 
of same ultrasonic imaging of some of the blocks he did let us see just for completion sake this is he is doing a selective tbl all right this is only tbl the common peroneal nerve is not yet in the picture all right this is as a protocol he is doing a selective tbl okay probably we don't need common peroneal anyway so this was a very nice clip and it happens to be recorded so just sharing it and he did a very nice femoral block which is easiest of all but something very interesting to learn about it i'll just will go to femoral one okay this is the selective tbl block okay all right now let us see the femoral one you know if you see this femoral now this femoral now there is no artery in the picture artery is somewhere there so it may be a good 1.52 cm away right isn't it so what is uh, written in all the anatomy books may not be true all right this is far far away from the artery you can see probably this was given some local anesthetic prior so just for sake of uh, seeing it it's looking very nice the femoral nerve is getting absolutely very nicely uh, separated and clear still you cannot see the femoral artery in the picture most of the time when you do a femoral, femoral nerve block uh, the artery is always there right so these are the two blocks of course bilateral tickets he did all those femoral and selective tibial and uh, put the saphenous catheter later on after the surgery bilateral for the post of pain so basic aim was to see the echo and uh, so these are some of the findings which i saw the tdi use of pulse wave doppler tissue velocity doppler okay so if somebody is interested more we'll go again so this is the tdi this is taken in the mitral valve annulus region this is the tdi and this is the mitral this is the it's not thin yeah this is the mitral block uh, valve pulse wave doppler inflow pattern so this is e a all right and this is again e a e a so you just take out this number we might discuss in detail all right so why did he take this case up 